Oh, I love those kids. They go out, they. Welcome back. A great story is the basis of great filmmaking. Add the right actors, and you should end up with something like fresh meat. Have a look. It's rude to sit at a Maori table and not eat. Mmm, <laughs> very gamey. What did I just eat? Welcome the stars of Fresh Meat, Tim Morrison and Hannah Tavita. Guys, Yee! welcome. Wow. Tim, I've got to say, welcome to the show. You must be stoked with this film. It's got a lot of buzz around town. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Yeah. I'm feeling it, buddy. Yeah. It was my first comedy. Yeah. And <laughs> attached to the kind of slash horror. So, so it was uh, written by Briar Grace, a uh, wonderful writer. Mm. I actually saw um, that Strength of Water, the other film she wrote, which was very inspiring <laughs> and awesome. raw and... Uh, this wasn't quite the drama I was looking for to work with on with Briar with, but it was my first taste of comedy. She had written it, so um, I relished it. And just when I first read it, I said, "Well, this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not, <laughs> not going to do this." But uh, then I think I just decided, "Well, why not? Eh? Let's push the parameters exactly. a little bit." People who know me in everyday normal yeah. life, I'm quite a funny guy. So, so this was a chance to explore that uh, yeah. porangi side. Now, everyone knows uh, you, Tim, obviously, but what about you, Hannah? What's, uh, how did you get here to be on the television today? Um, I don't know. It kind of just happened. Um, I was doing a drama performance in my seventh form year, and the director just happened to be in the audience, and it kind of just went from there, really. Asked me oh. to audition, and yeah. That's pretty much... That's amazing. But did, you, story. did you always want to do something that involved cannibalism? <laughs> Yes. No, and I'm, lesbianism. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I aim God for in life. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, yeah, you know, Hannah had to audition and they, they looked at everybody, all the, you know, a lot of act, uh, actresses auditioned for it and um, she got the part at the end, you know, so she fitted the mould that the producers were looking for. Mm, and uh, there was eight of us, really. Um, Nicola Kawana plays my wife. Uh, who else was on there? A couple of guys they found in a restaurant in uh, Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> I did learn, though, you know, when you're doing these comedies that it's mm. actually quite a serious business yeah. to, you know, you know, you've got to play everything seriously, you know, like for real, and uh, and then that's the funny thing, you yeah. know. So uh, I um, I had that experience on Couples Retreat where I got to watch um, love that, the, love uh, that. Uh, yeah. Vince Vaughn and John Favreau <laughs> work, and I just they just have the cameras rolling and they just play the situation. You know, of course there's a script and a draft yeah. and some of the lines that they get the funding for, but yeah. in the end they just play it, eh? They just play it and try versions and another version. So you end up with a lot of material. So yeah. I guess, and it was just nice to watch how they work. Even Vince has a lady walk around with him. The whole time, 24-7. He, wow. he might think of something funny. Write this down, write this down. Yeah, and then if he sees oh, you, geez. like the other actor, ah, come over here, come over here. Again, he wants to improv. He wants yeah. to do all that theatre yeah. stuff and start improvising. And oh, I'm, wow. Oh, gee, oh, why don't um, we just have a beer or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those people who are just kind of tuned in and going fresh meat, why don't you explain what the, what the plot of the film is about? Oh, God. OK, well, it's about um, your middle-class Māori family, and yeah. they come across as quite normal and... You know, seem like your everyday family. Not many and of those around, do you? No. <laughs> it's all kind of pleasantful, and uh, Hannah's my daughter, of yeah. course, and she goes to boarding school, and we live in a nice little Pleasantville area in Wellington, and it all looks very sedate and calm and normal. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got the um, Chu Gang, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, yeah. And the they, bad guys. They're trying to get like their leader out of prison, and so they try and do that, and then it all goes horribly wrong, and so they're trying to find somewhere to you know, hide from the police and it happens to be our house and then it all unfolds. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So in the movie you don't actually know that your family are cannibals. Because no. <laughs> I've been at boarding school for the last five years so I come back and... It all, and, and all yeah. girls boarding school, right? Yes. So in one of the opening scenes, mm -hmm. how did you cope with the whole kissing in the shower and the... They're quite intimate, hot, hot and steamy scene. It's like a black <laughs> swan scene. Uh, <laughs> Trying to um, all the guys how do you prepare for now. that? How do you prepare? That was <laughs> Those are some of the perks of the job. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got paid. <laughs> um, to be honest, that was actually like one of my first days of filming. So after that scene, I was pretty much prepared for everything Throwing and anything. In the deep end. Um, really? <laughs> yeah, but no. Um, I I kind of knew the the girl Akushla who was acting um, next to me. I'd watched her in films um, and like other theatre performances so we were quite comfortable and like we were together for like all of the morning and we talked and everything and so it wasn't awkward or it wasn't you know uncomfortable it was just funny it was we a just, you gotta laugh. so were yeah. you actually wearing anything yes okay. i was i was <laughs> <laughs> okay uh tam you got a question i've got a question please Bain? shoot um this is on my computer right now oh. the questions um <laughs> gets a bit nervous he needs to run okay <laughs> question from timmy did you get to eat anyone out <laughs> 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 
I mean, oh, I mean, did you get to have a good feed? <laughs> yes, there were a number of eating scenes, but uh, you know, when you do those uh, kind of eating scenes in the movies, the hard part about those scenes is having <laughs> something in your mouth and you got something to say and you're sort of. Going, oh, wow. <laughs> what so are the you secret... picturing that that was? Well, they had a little. You know, what was it? bits and index. Oh, the lamb's tail. I just oh. I'm moving on, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> our guests, uh, Tim and Hannah, are going to be keeping on joining us throughout the show. But remember, if you want those double passes, Facebook and Twitter, uh, we've got uh, with strings attached a couple of double passes to give away. Wow. Well done. Very revealing. Very revealing. <laughs> You're back with uh, ASC. I'm Thane Kumi. Our guests this week is uh, Tim Morrison and Hannah Tavita. And uh, Tim, yes. uh, of fresh meat, of course. Yes. Um, you're doing something special with the Halloween season. Halloween, yes, next yeah. week. Next week, it's about getting everybody together, all your people at the office, mm. all us people here, all the crew, and we all go out next Wednesday night. It's a Halloween, of course. All right. Dress up as a zombie, put all the blood splattering over you, some scars, and go and watch fresh meat. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Like Big Rocky Halloween Horror, night. Rock, lo, Rocky awesome. Horror Picture yeah. Show, isn't it? Have exactly. some fun with it. Get into the fun of it. I think that's an important thing. You, you have to go with that fun you know, thing in your mind to, to enjoy this film. It's all about attitude. Yeah. Have you got any funny stories about Hollywood? You know, those funny those funny little Hollywood? quirky little things you pick up on, you go, wow, that actually happens? That's I remember cool. being with, just off the bat, uh, with Cliff Curtis, mm. and we were with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wow. And we were waiting to go out and watch The Rock fight at the Staples Centre. So like, well, it was just full, you know. 30,000 Mexicans in there going crazy. <laughs> and then I thought, ooh, ooh, I'm walking behind Arnold here and we all go out and the crowd was going, Arnold, Arnold. So. So uh, Arnold walks out, the crowd goes crazy, and I'm with Cliff, of course, because him and Arnold they were doing collateral damage at the time of the movie, so I'm just taking along with Cliff. And then I thought, gee, if I push Cliff out of the way, I'll be sitting next to him and <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> and when they cut to the TV shot, I'll be on TV, I'll be saying, hello, everybody back home. So me and Cliff were having a fight behind Arnold's back. I was trying to push him out. And it was funny, and then before we went out, I remember Cliff asking Arnold, Arnold, you know when you left uh, Austria, did you know any English when you arrived in America? And Arnold just went, yeah, I'm a winner. <laughs> that's all the English he, he, he knew, but that says a lot about his attitude. I'm yeah. a winner, you know, that yeah, whole wow. seven-time Mr. Olympia champion yeah. and getting into the movies. And, of course, someone told Arnold, you're going to have to change your surname and you can't act. Yeah. Well, he didn't change his surname. He got in The Terminator, one of the biggest movies in the world, and then mm. became the governor of uh, California. There you go. And everybody can pronounce was I'm a winner. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a winner. winner. <laughs> it's that attitude I guess I'm getting across. Just that attitude that he had in the back of his mind that I can do something with, with these muscles. How about, um, how about, how about Pamela Anderson? I mean, I know, Pamela I mean, Anderson. we're going back a bit here, but that's she is... Barb Wire days. She is, to me, she is... That's was, Baywatch, that is. There was two highlights in that movie. <laughs> But I tell you what, it was my first Hollywood movie and um, the first day I remember getting picked up and taken out to San Pedro yeah. and then I knew I had to do a bit of a kissing scene with Pamela on the Cop cliff face and I'd sort of never done a kissing scene before, especially Hard with working. a Hollywood star. And so uh, we were having a little practice with the read through and the lines and right at the end it's, it had uh, on our script and we move in passionately for a kiss, and I'll sort of go... Um, let's uh, fast forward to this uh, This part here is uh, <laughs> it's OK with you, Pam? Oh, yes, so that's OK. Uh, let's go to Fresh Meat. We've got a clip of the movie, so okay. let's see you guys in full effect. Yes, let's go. One summer, a young girl on the cusp of womanhood comes home... What do you think? ..to the bosom of her family. I don't mind. But when unexpected guests arrive, she falls in love for the very first time. A different kind of love. Bugger. From the people who didn't bring you the whale rider, or once for warriors <laughs> comes an emotional feast. Whoa. Touch it. Tender. Margaret. Johnny. And tasteful. Ah! What's that? It's rude to sit at a Maori table and not eat. Hmm. <laughs> Very. Gamey. What did I just eat?
last night without matching wine, right? Big, big response last yeah. night. Yeah. Every awesome. theatre in the country was full. You couldn't get yes. in. <laughs> I tried to. Done. Fantastic. Your job is done. That's amazing. The movie looks incredible. Absolutely. Yeah, awesome. we had a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. Yeah. I have to ask, in the scene, there's a bit where you actually go for the nuts of the um, Kingpin uh, gang dude. Uh, how did you do that? And did he wear a cup? Um, no, he didn't wear a cup. <laughs> oh, sweaty balls. Yep. In the face. No. It comes with the territory. Someone's going to get a little stink. Um, Don't do it. Don't do I've got to save you and get us out of here, OK? I'll let me do that for you. That's my gift to you. Uh, we'll be back after this, but first... Uh, Tammy, that's right. Oh boy, Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. You may think of this guy, he has it all. Uh, possibly. What has he done now? I know, but look it up. <laughs> Welcome back to Aotearoa Social Club with guests Tim Morrison and uh, Hannah, of course, from the movie Fresh Meat. Uh, you guys, very successful opening. Are you overwhelmed, uh, Hannah, by this uh, becoming a big star now? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Safe me back a little bit. Um, yeah. No, life still feels pretty normal, so that's good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's um as you know, I guess being the komatua here in the in the film and, and having the young ones come through. I'm waiting for those roles. I'm still waiting for those roles. What um was there any advice that you gave to Hannah as she came? Well, I think I was learning of them at the same time. I realised that we were all in this waka together, so you know, if they asked me and they sort of had ideas, sometimes we'd have we wanted to keep. Uh, Hannah kind of just very normal, yeah. natural, just be themselves and mm. sometimes that's hard to do, you know, yeah. we start acting and you know, it's hard to do sometimes but um, with a lot of the, um, especially with Hannah's performance, very spontaneous, just very real yeah. and then How'd just... How'd she go? How'd she go? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Out of ten? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give I give, I give Hunter a ten. <laughs> just for that one scene. You would. Just for you know the you scene. Know. It's all he's seen is the shower scene. He like plays replay on the trailer all the time. It's like Black Swan. <laughs> Love that scene. <laughs> Very hot scene. Now, uh, are you going to go? Oh, I've got one. If you, you go for it. Okay. You, because you've been in movies like big movies for like seven, seven minutes and that type of stuff. Yes, it must be the really Green good. Yeah, and, and like become a legend all around the world. The Green Lantern uh, was one of those movies. Yeah, Star Wars. Just in the Star Wars. Yeah. Just starting to enjoy myself on Star Wars and then. Zzz. Less How is more. <laughs> I've got to watch the end of that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once my head came off, uh, that was it. <laughs> How was Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, working with him. Very, very nice guy. Very nice guy. A Canadian guy and. Um, I had a, funnily enough, I had, my big scene was with him where I was giving him the ring and I was all had my makeup on and I'm sort of doing my choking acting because I'm dying. Yeah. When you're <laughs> the dying, dying scene? Yeah, the dying scene. Actually, they're hard to do. There I was going, oh, 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 take, 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 take the ring. <laughs> and then the director comes over, ah, ah Tim, it's, it's all a bit melodramatic. Can you pull it back a bit? Uh, oh, OK. Uh, Take the ring, take the ring. <laughs> I feel like Sandra Bullock from The Proposal. Just take the ring. <laughs> it was four o'clock in the morning in New Orleans. We shot the movie in New Orleans, down in um, Louisiana. Wow. So, so I've got to taste all there. And the big thing about Louisiana is they have a coda, and they call crawfish. Yeah. Beautiful. So Thursday nights, I looked out of my hotel room every Thursday night, they'd set up the car park with big vats. And in these vats were coda, yeah. potatoes, sweet corn. Oh with a little Budweiser on the side. Oh, and a big Nicole plate of... Just lovely. Oh. Just Nicole. lovely. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> Hannah, tell me, what music are you listening to these days? What yeah. music am I listening yeah. to? Oh, a bit of everything. Nisha I like... Nisha Mystic. Nisha oh. Mystic. Yeah, I like the Nisha Mystic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> old school stuff. Great band. <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, I'm a fan. I like Nisha Mystic. I like the New Zealand stuff. I like Kimbra, I like 660, 1814, all of yeah. those. Very cool. Good yeah. to reggae well, don't we? Yeah. The big... Well, let's just see if these guys made it, these artists made it into our music chart. Let's take a look, eh? New Zealand top five singles. Uh, number five, I Knew You Were Trouble from Taylor Swift. Love Taylor. She's lovely. Four, <laughs> I Cry, Flo Rida. Not a bad song. Wild Ones album. Yeah. Here's number three. This is Battle Scars, the most depressing song on radio. <laughs> <It's the best laughs> years ago. Number two, Sweet Nothing. Great track. Calvin oh, Harrison, yeah, love Flo that Welch. One. She's amazing. And number one, Gangnam Style. Uh, Gangnam Style. It's getting boring now by Psy. Mm -hmm. Gangnam Hannah, Style. can you do it? Can you do Gangnam Style? Oh, I'm not much of a dancer, Ten. I am. Yep. <laughs> He's a dancer. He's a dancer. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> I was surprised at our hit movie because we brought back Puha and Pakeha. We brought mm. that for our movie, Fresh Meat. We brought it out again, but uh, obviously not on the charts yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's making its way up there. Is it in the thing? Is, it, in, is it part of the film? Mm, no, I think they just kind of did it as like a publicity thing. I don't think oh, it's a publicity yeah. thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you uh, for thank having you. us. All the best for the movie, and thank I know you. it's going to be just amazing.
Excellent. Okay. Round of applause for Mr. Marston. Thanks, Hannah, for Right.